Hi everyone, I'm Monica, and welcome back to day five of the 12 days of Christmas. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're actually gonna be making some tags with these fun printables from Victoria Designs featuring the 12 days of Christmas. Now, as you've seen from some of my other projects, you know that I like working with ephemera. And that's really what printables are. Victoria Designs creates these wonderful printables that have a vintage flair to them. A lot of her style is steampunk, as well as old world. And that's just something that I just really love to work with. Now, to begin, I just used my Big Shot, as well as my tag die, to cut out 12 tags. And then I stamped the tags using some stays on ink with an old script rubber stamp so from there I took my distressing tool and I frayed the edges and I added some walnut stain now I do occasionally venture out to use bookstores and this is where I found this old music book that I'm using to create a background. I took a piece of the music page and I'm just tearing it up and I'm gonna add some walnut stain to the edges and use it along with my 12 days of Christmas tags. To adhere my ephemera, I am using a collage medium from Tim Holtz. And this is the matte color, which is clear. They also have a vintage, which will actually leave some brown tones, but because I already distressed the edges with my walnut stain, I really didn't feel the need to use the vintage tone. Now another product that I like to use to embellish my tags are called rub-ons from Tim Holtz. I don't actually see a lot of people using these out on the internet and it astonishes me because this is such a fun uh, embellishment to work with. The set that I'm working with has some large numbers and I thought it was a perfect addition for my 12 days of Christmas tags. The set also has some fun words and phrases that I used on my tags as well. Now I could have easily just come in and added ribbon, but I thought that the twine actually added to the vintage look. One of the techniques that I like to use for my tags is to tie a piece of twine and then come in with some ribbon for the bow. The twine can work as the actual item that you tie to the present or the gift, and the bow is purely decorative. Now one thing that I did forget to do before I started this actual project is I forgot to look at the back side of my paper. I was so excited to actually use the front side that I forgot that my tag actually would show the back side as well. The back side is actually a family tree and it doesn't really work for a tag. So I did come in once I was off camera and actually put some of that music sheet paper on the back side to make the tag uh, a little bit more cohesive. Now, if any of you are planning on making any tags this holiday season, 
I would encourage you to check out Victoria Designs. I will leave a link to her store as well as links to all the other stores for the products that I've used to create these tags. If you've enjoyed this video, I would certainly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. Remember, in order to qualify for the drawing at the end of the series, you will have to be a subscriber and I will have to see that you've left a comment on every video. Alright everyone, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again next time.